Well, this morning I went to another chiropractor appointment and I feel like it really is helping my neck and my mobility with that. So that's really good. It was embarrassing though because when I got there and I like laid down on the table to be adjusted, I realized my zipper was down. I was like, oh, embarrassing. But anyway, um, I would love to hear in the comments below what your plans are this weekend. We don't know what we're going to do yet this weekend. So it'll be for something fun. You guys, this is big news. We found something that Kendra's eating. Not what you would have expected. It's a Jimmy John's sandwich. This is amazing. So it's a beach club sandwich. It has avocado on it, which is good. I'm so happy that you found something. I've taken like two bites. We're probably prematurely celebrating. I don't know, this is a big deal. So we had a bag of chips. Kendra called and was like, hey, do we have a bag of chips to eat with our Jimmy John's sandwiches? And we had in our pantry sour cream and onion. And I thought that'd be a fun poll question. What's your favorite kind of potato chip? There's original, barbecue, sour cream, and I'll pick some other ones. Does that count? Wavy? Is that a different flavor? I don't know. Ruffled? I like the wavy ones. Okay, and the wavy ones. So far I haven't been able to eat any of the potato chips. Sour cream and onion's kind of a stronger one. I bet regular would have been better for you. All right, so how about you guys? What's your favorite potato chip? Um, potato. Original sour oh. cream and onion barbecue, barbecue or another thing? Barbecue and I like barbecue. Well, I just love chips. Yeah. I like barbecue, sour cream, and Doritos. Doritos? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I like, kind of a different category. I like this kind and um, potato chips. So there's times where my favorite is the salt and vinegar. Is that what it's called? I really like the salt and vinegar ones. Me They're too, good. I love it. And when I lived in Canada, they had all kinds of additional fun flavors like pickle and ketchup, and let's those were fun. Talk about that. Kendra's done talking about chip flavors, but Ew. let us know in the poll. Okay, who wants a strawberry? Mm. Thank you. Yep. This one's mine now. You want this one, Cup? Mm -hmm. I can, I can see you. Yeah, there's a hole right through it. Mm. You want to try it? <laughs> you trying? So I remember a year ago, I saw a video on how to prepare strawberries. It was like a Facebook video, and they said it was best to use a straw, and you could just come right through, poke a hole, and there you go. Can I have my telescope? Your telescope strawberry? You that want another one, right. Kyle? I, I can this see one. you. Oh, I missed it that time. Still, uh, still perfecting the art. Kendra ate the whole sandwich. This is a big deal. Like all she's been eating are little bits of rice and noodles and some cheese and avocado and that's it. So this is a big deal. I'm really proud of you. It didn't, it didn't feel too good though. I'm sorry. It's such a tough thing with morning sickness because you have to be eating, you have to be drinking, and you're sick the whole time. Not like I know anything about this, but like that's such a tough dilemma. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? <laughs> You gotta be careful, you gotta make sure you really bend your head so you don't break your neck, okay? If I go under there, then I I'll come back up. So I don't know why this makes me so happy, but Isaac just came up and asked if he could watch Michael Jordan highlights. I've never seen him dunk right. What do you think, is he pretty good? I think he's amazing. He's so good, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Caleb, look at that, that was just to win the game. There was like, it went in like at 0 0.1 seconds. Yeah. Well, that was cool. He jumped up and then went down and then shoot at that. I don't know who's better, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. I used to think LeBron James, but now I don't know. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Who's your all-time favorite athlete? So last night, Kendra made lists with the kids of talents that they want to develop. So Elise, what were some of the talents you wanted to develop? Gymnastics. And um, sewing. I want to 
get my own drill, get my own computer to edit videos. I want to plant. I want to do gymnastics. I want to cook cookies. <laughs> so Caleb has wanted to bake cookies, and he's been asking every day for the last several days, and it's at the very top of his list. So that's what we're doing now. Caleb decided to go with a chocolate cake cookie mix. What are you guys doing? We're humming. No, okay. that is like, this is an exercise. Um, You're meditating? Um, Dad, I can't see. I know, our oven light burnt out a while back. Oh, I can see them. I know. I can see them. Bum, 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 Hey Isaac! It's growing! Are they done? Chocolate cookies are really hard for me to tell. The challenge is who can eat the cookie in one bite. Is that the challenge? Mm -hmm. Alright, on your mark. Get set, go! He got it. She got it. Ah. Oh, Caleb, your mouth isn't quite big enough yet. <laughs> More importantly, though, how's the cookie? Good. Good. Extra chocolate. <laughs> Extra chocolate. In the inside. Is it good? Is it cooked all the way through? Mm-hmm. For sure it is. Mm -hmm. Can we have it? You guys want one more cookie? Yeah. I'm going to dip it in milk. Let's see how that is. Give it a try. You might want to leave it like sitting in there for a bit to soak up the milk. But not too long, then it gets all soggy and it falls off. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels nice. It tastes better when you leave it in for long. All right, elise has been working on her cartwheels. And some salts. And headstands. Yep. You are working on it. Is this a headstand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. And a somersault. Almost forgot. Oh, Laura has her somersault. Good job, Laura. Boom. <laughs> Did you get your swimsuit on, Laura? Do you want to go to the splash pad? Yeah. Let's go. Are you climbing too? Yeah. Good job, big girl. You got it, buddy. Keep going. So Caleb has gotten stuck a couple times trying to climb to the top, but I think he's going to make it this time. You got it, buddy. Keep going. You made it, buddy. You did it. You did it! 
So once Caleb went down the slide, Elise had to try it again. <laughs> well, this week has honestly been really hard for me because of how sick I've been, but I talked to my doctor today and we're looking for solutions, either for some medications that'll be really safe for me in pregnancy, or I may go in this weekend and get some IV fluids. It's sad. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot with the kids, and I... I've got to, you know, do everything that we can to make sure that I'm feeling as best as I can. It helps to come out here and sit outside and see my awesome husband playing with my kids. Like, I know I haven't been able to play with them as much as I would like this week, but they've been with their daddy. They're really lucky kids. So Isaac is such a sensitive little boy. Sometimes when I'm putting him to bed, I'll let him listen to some of my favorite music, and we were listening to the soundtrack from Titanic, which I think is really good. And as we were listening, uh, Isaac was remembering the story of the Titanic. He's read books about it that a lot of people died. And he was really moved by the music and he was actually crying and just saying how sad he was that so many people died. And I'm just amazed with that boy and his heart and his love. He inspires me. And I'm excited to see what he's gonna do. Jay, how's that? What are we gonna do with our baby's diapers? Change her diaper? I can change her diaper. You're gonna change the baby's diaper?